But I didn't really plan it to be in, included in the album at all. I didn't definitely didn't think of it as a single. But yes. Interview with Chetlanis of Orabot. We're going to talk about Sinner Man from the album Who Do You Love. Let's do this. Here we are again, my friend. In front of the the mighty church. The Church of Orabot, as I've already named it. But it's called Jura Missionshus, which is also the name of our studio then. The studio is, well, you can't see it on camera, but it's straight in there. I'm gonna show you a close up right now. And that's where you recorded the album, Who Do You Love? We recorded uh, parts of the album in our own church, in our own studio. We did some stuff in Chicago, in Steve Albini's studio, electrical audio. We used uh, Chicago Mastering, Jason Ward um, and also Bob Weston at Chicago Mastering. They do a phenomenal job with the mastering. I have a feeling that a lot of musicians would, they would know about all of the, you know, the, the gray hair and headaches from mastering. But uh, actually I just send the mix to the mastering and they come back and I listen to five seconds and it's you know it's every good. time sounds just spot-on they understand it perfectly every time Jason really good the mixes were done in Oslo by Milton von Krog ah. Very nice touch. It's like the touch that Milton adds to your songs. The, the mix is very important and the, even the mastering. I'm really glad I have found Milton who's doing these really interesting kind of um, out of the box mixes. It's like he knows you now how you think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And he knows the vibes you want. Yeah, yeah. And he's got a really good taste in music and really just a tasty mix. That's what it is. And Tasty you know, mix. Good references. What I do is I give him all of the material and he would mix by himself I'm not even there and I think that's pretty rare too that's trust uh, yeah yeah definitely there's a lot of trust you know sometimes you just find the right guy and I've done that with Mill we really need to make sure to to give him enough credit that's a serious mix of uh, good people you have around there yeah yeah quite fortunate to have a great crowd this album who do you love is the eighth Orabot album coming out yeah and we have the song sinner man <laughs> We yeah. talked about that on the podcast. We talked more about the album, the songs, reference, inspiration. But all of this will be in the English-speaking Aura Vlogs. Which are coming out. So they get in both bag and... Bag. Pusosek. <laughs> they get everything. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. That's in Norwegian though. Det är inte så värsta att sitta här. Det är ganska behagligt måste säga. Det är ganska nice här faktiskt. Yeah. The song Sinner Man. That's a song that wasn't actually supposed to be on the album. Didn't really have any plans for it. First off, it's uh, originally a cover song, and I didn't really have a plan for it at all. Um, just a couple of years ago, I had a day off and I was in the studio. I'd just seen that Nina Simone documentary and she does a fantastic and really famous version of, of that song. And that album is great too, Pastel Blues. So I was really fascinated by Nina Simone and also was really inspired by her version of the Cinnamon song. The piano playing is phenomenal and the singing is just... I'll put the link to the video right underneath here so you can check it out. Yeah, yeah. So I had this one day where I was just trying out some stuff and I did a very direct demo of it there and then in the studio and I thought that the vocals were quite good. I cried power! Had a, had a nerve. Nerve to the devil! He was waiting! 
later on I made another demo of it and it had that same spark to it. It felt the magic basically. Yeah. I decided to include the song for the Who Do You Love recording sessions, uh, but I didn't really plan it to be included in the album at all. I definitely didn't think of it as a single, but then things just change. You never know how things will work out in the end. People seem to like it a lot and then all of a sudden here we are. It's the first single off of the new Arabot album. Who Do You Love? Which is coming out in September. We have have a lot of exciting things happening around this Sinnerman song which is why I'm here vlogging again like I always do. Mm. Yeah so there's a lot of exciting stuff happening surrounding this new release then. Correct because we have pretty original styled Sinnerman music video coming. Yeah directed by Martin Menzoni. Yeah the, the most. The new 12 inch maxi single called Cinnamon will be released on Record Store Day 21st of April on Pelagic Records. And you're also doing a gig on the 19th of April. Yeah, we do. We play Roadburn Festival in Tilburg in the Netherlands. And the link to that festival is of course right underneath. For this release, we will have probably two episodes then, yeah, of Cinnamon, special Cinnamon vlog. Yep. And the music video will be, I guess, quite unique. How would you describe the process behind it? How are we doing this? For the viewers who don't know the concept of vlogging, it's basically more like a diary of video, like a video blog. Yeah. And that's the concept I film and work and cut and paste in. Yeah, that's what you do. Yes. So what we've done with the music video, instead of the traditional way with the whole recording crew and all the extra uh, workers in a music video, I've done it the vlog style, filming it all myself, setting the light, you and Colin, you focus on doing the music and performance and I do basically everything of the filming, recording, cutting, editing. Yeah. It's done in a, I would say, a vlog format. God damn. It's a very good uh, set you got there, Chetl. Thank you. I like it. Did you organize all this snow for us? Yeah. Yeah, so what we do then instead of the usual MTV style music video with the album track, you know, with pictures basically, uh, what we do is we have a special version of the song first off. Me and Karen play it live. In the church right behind us. Yeah, we do. Um, we play pump organ and we play piano and we do a special version and then you make a music video out of that mix it into the vlogging format then yeah. video blog format it's gonna be interesting i can't wait yeah excited and nervous show final video and then about a month later we will have the official aura bot vlog the aura vlog episode one yeah. out of 13. the magic number 13 which will come out then once a week building up to the big release of the new Arabot album called Who Do You Love? Who Do You Love? Who Do You Love? Aura Vlogs will start building up around June, 13 episodes, and then the album will drop in September. More dates and all that stuff you can find on Aura Vlog Facebook page. Subscribe and uh, click the little bell on their YouTube channel to be notified when they release a video, which will of course be these vlogs that we're talking about. Instagram, on Twitter, go check out their website too for more tour dates coming up soon. I think we got it, man. Good job. Thanks for our church talk. <laughs> yes? <laughs> Daddy told, man.